hello welcome to our today's tutorial on arcgis in our today's tutorial we will be determining area for certain facility considering associate factors like we have to build a park for a certain area now in order to build the park we have to think about some factors which is related to the park so before we actually create a park we have to make some decisions about certain things and then we have to evaluate those decisions and then finally we have to create a, our plan for the park so in our to this tutorial we will be seeing how can we do that using ArcGIS at first you can see uh, there is a set of something you can see here there is some things we have considered in order to make a create a park in order to choose the land for a park first of all we have we need vacant land and then we need the population for the park then we have to consider the transportation for the park then we have to think about the other facilities like is there any water body beside it or how far is it from the residential area as we know the residents of residential area will be mainly using the park and then we have to also consider industries for its negative impact and also we have to consider safety and security so at first there is something like a layer I have which is actually which has some data like I have a file which is containing uh, land use of an area you can see there are here are some agricultural land commercial land graveyard educational land miscellaneous used land mixed use land open spaces places of ownership residential area and there is also transportation modes and finally we have some layer of water bodies okay what we have to do first we have to take those fields here you can see this is my whole area considering consisting of everything so at first we have to separate our necessities like you can go to query builder then land use and then is equal to get unit value suppose if we need only the water bodies now let's take water bodies and press ok so now we have we are seeing only the water bodies in our map so these are the water bodies now we have to determine how far from a water body will a park be situated so suppose i want my park to be at least 300 meter from a water body uh, 300 meter from a water body is okay if it is 200 meter from a water body it is moderate and if it is within 100 meter of a water body then it is very good okay in order to do that we have to uh, go to our art toolbox then special analyst tool then we have to go to distance and then euclidean distance double click on euclidean distance then i will select the layer which is you can see gop existing land use okay select gop existing land use then you have to select the output file name i have done it already but i will show you again which is uh, for water body i will name it wb okay and i will save it the maximum distance okay what was the maximum distance maximum distance i considered was 300 so the 300 is maximum here and then there is output cell size which you can leave as it as the default and then you press ok ok your euclidean distance that means your um, area of influence is now ready as you can see we have 
discussed about only three condition which was okay and then was moderately good and then the finally was it was very good but as you can see under water body we have 10 layers 10 different segments but we need to make it only three so to do that go to special analysis tool under special analysis tool go to overlay go to sorry go to reclass and then choose reclassify and in reclassify you can only classify your raster data so in input raster you select the wbeu1 which has 10 different classes then go to classify and then in classes select 3 and from bottom to top you set it first 300 then you set the second one 200 and then you can set the first one 100 or as you wish then you press ok and then ok again then you can see now your wb is reclassed in three different criteria as you can see the blue ones the blue ones are class one the green ones are class two and the maroon ones are the class three okay i am hiding my previous map so you can see clearly now so this is how i select a single criteria and then reclassify it so i have already done some reclassification and those are you can see uh, i have done something of distance and then open space and then industry and then residential and then transportation and security so these are my six layers you can add any amount of layer you want as your criteria so now you have seen how to make these classified layers which is reclassed and then now it's time to determine how can we create a create our zone and how to determine which zone to use in order to make a park so in order to do that go to uh, go to special analyst tool and under special analyst tool go to overlay and then go to weighted overlay in weighted overlay you can see there is a plus button to add your layer so in here add your all the layers you created in my case i will add from I will add actually everything which is reclass and then press ok and then actually we have to press all the reclasses in here so I skipped a little and as you can see I now I have add all my layers in here as you can see influence is already 100 percent for the first one a reclass euc d1 it's mm, actually my water body layer and you can see it it has already taken 100 percent influences but that's not it i want it to take only 10 percent so as you can see when i set it 10 percent there is a cross sign which means my weighted influence the sum of my influence is not 100 now unless you make it make it 100 it will show an error you can set you can give press set equal influences so that all your layers will get the same preference but there might be something like you want to give something more preference like if there is a residential area you can you might want to give it some advantage and you set it to 26 so when you have set it to 26 you have to uh, minus something from some other layer which is which can be like security you give security 6% when you give 6% you see there is no cross sign now 
there is one thing as you know the water body will give it an advantage and the transportation will also give it an advantage and open area will also give advantage but then you can see we have also industry in here but being near to industry will not make it any advantage so what you have to do is we have to reverse the scale values in the black section you can click on the black section what it should do is it should have opposite the value but as you can see there might be some error as you can see there is 3 2 and also 3 you can give it manually 1 so that your data is now opposite so the weighting should be also inverse and now you can press ok as you can see after some computation you will be able to see a section of your I'm hiding all the other layers so this is my weighting V class and you can see these two area is my best fit so these are the areas where the development is possible most only there is only two classification as it has chose the chosen the best one from this the green ones are not the most perfect the red ones are actually the most perfect area for a park so this is all for today and for more stay tuned